Hey guys, how's it going? Greetings from Portland, Oregon. So yesterday I posted a video uh, giving a little travel update in which I mentioned that I had uh, bought a new backpack and somebody commented below the video there, Jamie's, asking to give a review of the backpack. And so I thought this would be a good opportunity to talk about backpacks in general. I'm not being uh, paid or endorsed or anything by the makers of this backpack to review it. So this is a high peak backpack. It is a Sinex Sport, I guess, whatever that means. That's the uh, specific uh, style of the backpack. And so backpacks are, of course, a very important consideration when it comes to uh, traveling. And it depends quite a bit on what sort of traveling you're going to be doing. I actually have three backpacks now as far as large size backpacks go. And then, of course, I have plenty of uh, smaller, uh, just little day packs. I have two backpacks that are roughly this uh, same size, and then one that is quite a bit larger that is my backpacking backpack, as in wilderness overnight um, backpacking. So that's a different uh, story when it comes to heading out into the wilderness, in which you're going to be uh, taking a tent and a very warm sleeping bag and a camping mattress and maybe a stove and water filter and all that kind of stuff, then you're going to need a lot more uh, things to bring and space to put it in, food as well. And so if you're traveling to Asia, for example, and I'm considering going to Thailand pretty soon, then you don't need any of that stuff. So you don't need as big of a backpack. So this is kind of a medium sized backpack, as you can see. And as you can see, there are plenty of straps on here. Now, one of the first things that I did is I actually um, cut off some of the straps. And so there are a couple of extra straps hanging from around here somewhere that I cut off. And then I also cut off these straps that went with this thing. This top compartment can be uh, taken off and then used as a hip belt. And so it had a, uh, you know, strap buckle system here that could uh, make it like a fanny pack basically. But I already have a fanny pack. I don't think I'm gonna use that uh, ever. And so I you know, took those off of there just to save space. And so the first thing then for me was just to get a few things out of the way that I didn't think that I was going to be uh, using. So definitely a important consideration is various pockets and pouches and things where you can put things. And so this one has, as you can see on the bottom here, First of all, these straps right here are somewhere that you could attach a, like a sleeping mattress if you're going backpacking and put it there and then clip it in. And then on the bottom here is this bottom pouch that is intended for uh, sleeping bags. Now I'm not actually going to be traveling with a uh, sleeping bag, but I do carry a blanket. And so I've stuffed in here a few things into this uh, bottom pouch, my blanket and uh, long underwear and a few other things that are going to be useful for uh, cold weather because while I'm here in Oregon, I'm heading to the Cascade Mountains from here and so it could be chilly there. But of course, if I go to Asia, then I'm not going to be bringing, um, you know, long underwear and, and uh, stuff like that. Uh, but still, it is useful to have this uh, bottom compartment to put various things in to have a separate place um, to access those different things. Now, one thing that this backpack is missing that I'm going to kind of uh, regret a little bit is that it doesn't have the side zippers. So both of my other backpacks have zippers along the sides here that you can unzip and then that allows you to access the uh, main compartment here. And so that is very useful for not having to take everything out of your backpack if you have something down here that you want to get to. Now fortunately it does have this bottom compartment and so you can just keep that in mind when you pack your backpack. What are the things that you might be needing to access um, you know, quickly and easily without having to take uh, everything out. And then you can see that there is this pouch thing on the front and this is useful for uh, stuffing something inside there that you're going to be uh, possibly needing to access um, quickly and easily such as a uh, rain jacket, an extra shirt, a hat or uh, gloves or something like that that you can just stuff in there and then just be able to grab it easily. And then of course it has the top thing here. I'll go ahead and just unclip this and show how that works. And so that fully comes off and then that is where the uh, straps were that I cut off right in there that would then turn it into a, you know, hip fanny pack kind of a thing. And so it has a zippered pocket under here. 
kind of a little bit hidden. You could also make use of this thing here as somewhere to like stuff gloves or something like that that you could easily access. And then of course, as is usually the case, then it has the top compartment here that you can stuff uh, certain things in. And so that is definitely an important uh, consideration when it comes to backpacks is having different pockets and compartments where you can stuff different things and be able to access them without uh, having everything stuffed into just one place. So just look for that when you're looking for backpacks. Think about your own uh, situation, what you're going to be carrying with you, and uh, whether the backpack is going to do the trick in that regard. And so I will go ahead and put the uh, pack on here and then just kind of give a quick little tutorial in the straps on your backpack. The basic concept is that uh, First of all, uh, many people may know this, but when it comes to the larger size backpacks like this, where you're going to be carrying a fair amount of weight, then you don't want the weight on your shoulders. You want it on your hips, and so that is what the hip belt is for. And so once you clip this thing in, then you can see, perhaps, that the shoulder straps come off the shoulders a little bit, and that's exactly what you want. So when it comes to adjusting your straps, then the uh, deal is that you uh, loosen everything, loosen all the, the major straps, and so that's basically uh, the hip belt, these here, these here, and then you tighten everything from the bottom up. So first you would get your hip belt nice and snug, and then you would pull these guys down, and then you'll pull these down. And then finally you could do the chest strap, and so you can see that there's a bit of a space there so that that weight is not resting on your shoulders but is on your hips and then that uh, feels a lot better, it carries the weight better, it is much easier especially when it comes to uh, doing like long distance hiking with the weight on your uh, back. And so um, that is an important consideration is if you're thinking of maybe doing something like trekking in Nepal or also using it for backpacking then you want to make sure that you know it fits your body uh, in such a way that it carries the weight in the most optimum uh, manner so that you can carry that weight on your back for possibly you know many miles so those are a few tips when it comes to looking for backpacks feel free to share your own comments in the comment section below thanks for watching happy trails